Now let us come to kind of the one of the one of the theorems that can be considered the soul of electrostatics. Okay. And the simplicity and the brilliance both are striking at the same time. Right. So let me let me maybe take you the way Goss went about it. What he did, he placed a, a charge. Or, or, or let us try to, to understand. If, if we have a charge here, whether Gauss did it or not, if there is a charge here and you draw a circle of radius r around that charge okay you draw a circle of radius r around that charge okay let's say let's say this is your this is your charge now what he did was or, or what we are trying to do is at this point okay so this distance is r at this point we try to find out the field okay what is the field a and mind it this is a sphere okay a sphere of radius let it be capital R radius R is drawn with with a charge Q placed at its center charge capital Q placed at its center and this is a sphere so so now let us try to understand it like this at all points on this sphere at all points on the surface of this sphere okay what is the magnitude of the field field is Q upon 4 pi epsilon naught R square is it not At all points on the sphere, the electric field is the electric field is given by E is equal to. 1 upon 4 pi epsilon naught into Q upon R square, is it not? Hmm? So it could also be say, say this here somewhere on the sphere. So it, it, at this point, this comes out like this. So, so here the field is something like this, right? Okay, on, on this part of the sphere. This length though it looks smaller than this, but it is actually R only. I'm on the sphere. Now, so magnitude is that, but the direction of that field is varying, right? It's a, it's a varying direction. Okay, you, you change along the, the surface, the direction also changes. Okay. Now what happens? I am trying to find out the E dot ds. Okay. The surface is a curved one. The surface is a curved one. So what I'll have to do, there is no unique direction of the, of the, of the area vector. 
okay there is no no unique direction of the area vector so i have to take the area as infinitesimally small ds okay and 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 what is the area vector area vector is something like this this is vector ds the red one is the electric field electric field vector is rate is, is outward because q is positive now what i do what i did i i surrounded the point where it hit it that area that that small area around that a very very small area so small so small that it is infinitesimally small it is it is oh, it is infinitesimal area infinitesimal area delta s tending to zero and we call it ds ds okay it's a vector why because we have been taking area as a vector okay and in this case what is the direction of the oh, what is the direction of any area vector that we take we, we said it will be normal to the normal to the plane of the vector in uh, but but there are two planes there, there are two normals to the vector one is the outward and the other one is the inward here we tend to take the outward normal okay for the area vector for the area vector we take the outward normal okay we take the outward normal fine now try to think if that is such a small vector that it can be considered as a plane then it has a it has a normal defined because normals are normally defined for normals are defined for for plane areas right so that is a plane and we have defined that we'll take we'll be taking the outward normal so at that point you'll find that the that the direction of the area vector is in the same direction as e okay because say if if, if this is the sphere then then the normal here is like that it is radially outward is it not so so the so the area vector is also radially outward the the electric field vector is also radially outward so they are basically parallel to each other correct so what do we do if i am supposed to find if i intend to find e dot ds all over the surface area of the sphere what happens what happens e dot ds is equal to e into ds into cos 0 which is equal to e ds which is equal to 1 upon 4 pi epsilon naught into q upon r square into ds okay and, and, and this is capital r because i have taken the radius to be capital r so so just make that correction these two r these two r's the radius the, the the radii the radius vector they are capital r right so so what happens what happens is to find out the electric flux over the whole surface what do we do to find the electric flux over the whole surface
we will have to integrate the flux the flux over the whole surface so so this is what this is in a sense e dot ds this is actually d phi no it is d phi e so this is actually d phi e right so phi e is given by this over the whole surface so it is 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught q upon r square into into ds and, and this is a constant okay all of these are constant 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught q r square they are constant so this is a surface integral so the whole thing comes out and it becomes 1 upon 4 pi epsilon naught into q upon r square into and, and and this is a closed surface integral what do we mean we have to go over the whole enclosed area right that surface that 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 sphere that actually encloses encloses a space right a volume so so we have to do a closed integral so that is this ds over the surface and what is the sum of the total surface area because it be actually becomes what the integration of the surface elements all over the area and what is that that is 4 pi r square so it is 1 upon 4 pi epsilon naught into q upon r square into the surface area of the sphere which is 4 pi r square get it this 4 pi cancels this 4 pi this r square cancels this r square get the point so it becomes q upon epsilon naught it became q upon epsilon naught okay so the total flux total flux so you can understand that these are field lines which are coming out of the of the of the of the charge and they are they are cutting the surface radially and going out and you are trying to find the total flow so that total flow is equal to in case of this is equal to q upon epsilon naught so what are we trying to say that the total electric flux total electric flux over the surface of a sphere of ray of of a sphere of radius r with a charge q placed at its center is phi e is equal to 1 upon 4 pi epsilon naught sorry phi e is what e dot ds it, it, it is actually e dot ds integral over the surface is q upon epsilon naught right it is q upon epsilon naught So the electric flux for this case 
is q upon epsilon naught hold that in mind okay hold that in mind that the total flux out of a sphere at whose center you have got a charge q is equal to q upon epsilon naught okay